You know, there's a lot of controversy about whether or not vitamin supplements can reduce your risk of cancer. Well, you know, experimentally we know that antioxidants like vitamin C and vitamin E and beta carotene and vitamin A and selenium and certain bioflavonoids, and lycopene, lutein, these antioxidants that are in food but you can also take them as supplements, can sort of quench these dangerous free radicals because what free radicals normally do is they, they attack the genetic material in the cell that produce mutations that can lead to cancerous mutations and then cancer gets started. That's how cigarette smoking causes lung cancer, free radical damage to the lung cells over time. And that's how other environmental carcinogens tend to cause cancer. Ultraviolet light, the way it causes cancer in your skin, is by free radical damage. We know that antioxidant nutrients like vitamin C and E and beta carotene, the ones I was mentioning, can actually interact with the free radical and quench it and make it a, a, a non-harmful molecule so it can't do that kind of damage. In studies on animals, we see that the antioxidant protection against cancer is highly significant. There's some, de some debate about whether it does that in humans. Some large, uh, clinical, or large human studies have shown that uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't protect that much and others suggest that, that it may have a protective effect. But when you look deeper, you see that there are certain situations where people already have had a precancerous condition where they've been given certain specific vitamin and mineral supplements and it's been able to reverse the precancerous state. That's very impressive evidence. So women that have mild to moderate stage cervical dysplasia you see by giving them a particular supplementation program of those antioxidants that I talked about, within six months the cervical dysplasia is reversed. People with atrophic gastritis, a precancerous condition in the stomach, giving them higher doses of vitamin C river has reversed the condition. People that get an oral cavity type of precancerous condition known as leukoplakia and they're given beta carotene at high doses it's been able to reverse the condition. So to say that antioxidants can't reduce your risk of cancer, that's insanity. We're seeing more and more evidence that it can. We know that vitamin D and vitamin A and carotenes, for instance, help normal cells develop and mature into more mature cells. The more mature the cell is and the slower the cell divides, the less likely it is to become cancerous. So most recently we've seen people taking vitamin D supplements at a thousand international units a day, a 50 to 60 percent decrease uh, incidence of cancer. That's why, because vitamin D has this spectacular effect. But so do antioxidants. So do the B vitamins. Folic acid and vitamin B12 help the cells make the DNA that they need. So when they replicate from one generation to the next, the DNA chromosomal linkages are strong and they can't break that easily, forming cancerous mutations. So higher uh, blood levels of folic acid and B12 are linked to a reduction in risk of certain cancers as well. So when you put all the evidence together, I would suggest strongly that people take a high potency multiple vitamin and mineral every day that has uh, boosted antioxidant levels, a B50 complex, uh, all the other minerals right through to zinc. And here's something to know. There was a study back in the molecular aspects of medicine in 1994 and then again in 1996. They took women that already had breast cancer, already went through medical treatment, put them on a high uh, antioxidant cocktail and also with essential fatty acids and CoQ10 at doses higher than you could get from food. These are supplemental doses that are fairly significant. They were able to show that it stopped the further progression of the disease. None of these women had any metastasis or any life-threatening consequences after they had been through the medical treatment. You know what this tells us? That we need to be combining the best medical treatment available with the best nutrition and lifestyle and alternative medicine possible to give people the best possible result. I would say strongly for prevention reasons that you take a high potency multivitamin and mineral every single day. You know, if you enjoyed this video and you felt that you got some meaning from it, then I would really strongly recommend that you go to machinohealth.com and you can sign up for my newsletter so I can coach you on an ongoing basis as I review the scientific literature from around the world every month. I send out you know, a little weekly message like this that brings people up to date on the latest things they should do so they know how to look after themselves properly. 
You'll also see how you can get a free download of my, of my book called The Machino Optimal Living Program, Seven Steps to a Healthy, Fit, Age-Resistant Body. It's a book I believe everyone should read. So you see how you can get a free copy of that when you go to machinohealth.com. So hopefully we'll have a chance to meet again and I'll be able to provide you with ongoing lifestyle coaching that's going to be meaningful so you can have a highly functional body and mind for the longest period of time.